age of eight, and he is already drawing rave reviews, Joe, from the likes of Gervonta Davis and Shakur Stevenson. Yeah, you take one look at uh, Moten, and you're going to see his Floyd style. It's, it's, it's imprinted on him, and he's very fast, he's explosive, and he's got heavy hands. So, you know, he's just like Floyd in a lot of ways. He received special permission from the Nevada State Athletic Commission to turn pro prior to his 18th birthday. And, and after he decided to skip the Olympics and pursue his dream of becoming a professional, and so far, so very good. And he does it in a variety of ways, including scoring his latest knockout via the body shot. Yeah, this is a guy that pretty Rugby much does gentlemen. it all. I mean, fast, accurate, explosive. He likes to fight in the inside, and, and uh, I like how they're managing his career. He's fighting nothing but undefeated fighters. Again, this is the third undefeated fighter that he's facing. Meanwhile, Kuba supporters are like, guys, let's not be too quick to jump on Moen's coattails because Anthony too quick. Kuba at 21, he is 7-0-2 with three knockouts, but he's had close calls coming off a majority decision draw, and he's getting tagged with the jab upstairs from Moten, and a co nice combination. It's a beautiful left hook right up at the uh, counter punch by Moten right there but look Kuba's really you know showing himself to, to be worthy in, in, in this fight right now because he's got he's got great movement he's got a good jab and you know he's doing some smart things in here he's fought some tough guys he's gonna give uh, Moten a little bit of uh, a little bit of problem tonight one has to be impressed and Abner you started your career very young as well but with the maturity and and how articulate Kermel Moten is in terms of Telling the new, talking about the nuances of the sport, he comes across as, as a man much more mature than his 17 years. He's not even a man yet. 17 years old, and you listen to his kid talk, you know, the conversations Ooh. he's talking about, how he wants to grow, what he wants to do. I mean, this is a mature 17 year old, and you can see it in the ring. Yeah, I mean, making those that, body shots. Yeah, talk. He's not trying to make too many mistakes, waiting for the right moment, closing the gap. I mean, look, look at him. Nice jabs from Kuba, trying to keep Moten at bay, but Moten putting on the smart pressure, walking forward and lunging in with that nice right hand of the torso. He is. That's the thing with Moten. He's going to put pressure Ooh. on you. And now, oh. if he starts throwing combinations, you're in trouble. And again, it's not, Kuba's not doing the wrong thing. He's doing no. the right thing. He's boxing. He's trying to stay away from, from Moten, but Moten is just so aggressive. He's, he cuts off the ring really well. Moten putting the pressure on Kuba, and for the first time in his embryonic bell, career, gentlemen. Moten will see round number two. Fine, right there. Uh, some that uh, the last two opponents haven't done, which is take uh, more into t Moten into the second round. Jesse Kuba, as trainer, wanting his fighter to be more aggressive in the second round. Moten, plenty aggressive in the opening three minutes and plenty of composure, maturity, the punch placement, the timing, the accuracy, and the reflexes already. Well on stop, display. Stop, stop, stop. Absolutely. No Look, Go we back. watched his uh, tapes of his first couple of fights, and he's terribly explosive. Like right right there. Not, he he starts four left hooks, five left hooks. Yeah. Yeah, he does not waste time whatsoever. And he is putting that work into the body, but Kuba making a stand, trying to fight back valiantly off the back foot, trying to utilize mobility to avoid the onslaught of Kermel Moten. And a good jab by Kuba actually slowed down Moten for about a half a second. And, and Cuba, series of left hooks. Cuba, Cuba, Cuba landing some really good shots as well, but that is a place he does stop, not want to be stop. in the inside of Moti. Hey, and impromptu you know, DDT delivered by Kermel Moti. Not all right. part of the boxing arsenal. It wasn't his fault because they had a collision there. And Cuba lunging in, going downstairs with a left hook to the body. Yeah, Kuba's throwing a couple of liver shots in this round right now and threw a nice left uppercut to start the round. He's got an educated left hand. Nice. That's what you want to do with your Kuba. Jab, jab, oh. right hand, straight punches. Beautiful combination by Moten. Left hook downstairs follows up with an over right hand flush to the face of Kuba. Nice combination as Kuba rips a pair of punches to the body. Yeah, that's his third or fourth left hook to the liver. And, you know, those, those will slow you down if, the, if we get some rounds out of that. That will definitely help them in the process. Left hook continues to be Moten's money shot here in this fight as he's landed it repeatedly with with an impressive thud upstairs and you can see kuba's overthinking it a lot right now because every everything he throws there, there's a, an answer for it right cross don't measure well if he sits on the ropes that's not good for oh. him because that's where he can't move yeah, away from so he's getting a little up the second time both guys have been here. 
Watch the holding, right? Go. Continued pressure from Kermel Moten. Lots of action in this fight with the edge belonging to Moten. Has thrown 73 punches compared to Kuba's 41. Landed 45 compared to Kuba's 14. And Kuba has shown a great chin because he's taking some really good and hard shots from Moten. Yeah, Moten threw a nice left hook, and, and I gotta tell you, Kuba's defense was good. He had that right hand pinned up next to his chin. And that's the thing. You don't want to drop your hands anywhere near Moten. Definitely not. Listen for that belt, Kuba Tommy. going downstairs to the body, getting countered upstairs. We are through six minutes. Moten. That was a solid right hand <laughs> on the chops. We are pleased to be working with Claudia Trejos and Jordan Plant, our ringside reporters, and Miss Trejos, multi-talented, will be doing our translating for us throughout the evening as we begin round three, scheduled for eight in the super featherweight division. Two young, hungry prospects, both learning on the job, but Moten has had, uh, well, the equivalent of an Ivy League education at the Mayweather gym. Absolutely. Look, if I had Moten right now as a 17-year-old and he's got two fights, two knockouts, I'm kind of liking the fact that he just scored nice up. The liking fact that he's getting some rounds in. This is yes. how you get your experience. So I, I'd be liking it because he's winning the rounds right now. So this is a great experience for him. And, and any time that you are, you know, connecting at a 60% clip, Abner Mars, it's a good night at the office, or should I say school? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely school promoting. I mean, again, 17 years old, he's learning on the job. I mean, he's showing us a lot of things. It's not just the KO power, it's there. Really, and who doesn't love a KO? But I mean, just the, the, the variety of punches, the combinations, how he sets up every punch, and the timing is just there for Moten. And, and, and that quick body shot. He's got very quick hands. The other thing is, once Moten throws punches, he gets under and out, or some way gets on a defensive stance right away, which is very important. Kuba attempting to establish the jab, wanting to manage his distance, but the pressure of Moten proving to be too much, ripping the left hook, right hand combination to the body. Yeah, Kuba doing a good job with the jab, but look, look at where the hand is. It's too low. When he jabs it, he doesn't bring it back, and, and that's why Moten is able to, to counter punch that jab. Moten continues to track Kuba, trying to cut off the ring as Kuba utilizing that distance, landing a combination. What do you think about Moten's defensive instincts? Are both fighters at this stage of the career? What do you think about their defense? Well, well, look, I mean, uh, Moten's been trained by Mayweather. He looks like Mayweather in every respect, offensively and defensively. You know oh, that. There we go. And Cuba's retreating. Cuba seems to be in trouble, trying to hang on, doing the veteran move at the age of 21. Exactly. And, and, and to finish out, his defense is just as exquisite as his offense. Uh, and I'm talking about Moten right now. And Cuba's doing a great job hanging on because he's gotten clipped with some really good shots this round. Yeah, again, the, the smart pressure from Moten right now just great. I mean, he's you can tell that he's taking his time. I, I mean, he's not pressuring himself. He's not looking for the knockout. He's just throwing those punches and, and landing at will. Overhand right by Kuba that Moten rolled with and took the steam off by absorbing the shot. Nice high right hand by Moten blocks that left hook by Kuba. It's easier said than done, right? Especially when you have someone like Moten in front of you. Beginning of round four, scheduled for eight. Kermel Moten, 2-0 oh, nice with two knockouts. Anthony Kuba, 7-0-2 oh, with three KOs. And Kuba coming out like his corner wants him to do, more aggressively. Stop, 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 stop. He is, and he landed two straight one-twos on, on uh, Moten. Uh, see, the other thing is, is that one thing about Kuba, he doesn't have a lot of knockouts. He only got three knockouts in nine yeah. fights. So he's going to have to really beat him on basically on points and uh, being slicker at this point. But to knock out Moten, it doesn't seem mm. likely. And the investment to the body continues for Moten. Makuba having some success upstairs on the left hook to the body as well. Oh, a great student. I mean, he's doing exactly what his corner told him. I want you to throw more. Uh, be more aggressive. He's standing right in front of uh, Moten, and, and he's doing really good for this round. But again, in Moten, it just takes one shot. 
And I know Joe Goosen's brother was a major league catcher. Well, so far in your unofficial scorecard, Joe, you have Bowden pitching a shutout. I do. I mean, well, it's, and it's not because Kuba up isn't in the this fight. He is. Yeah. He's given a, a really good showing for himself. He's just in there with a super talented guy right now. And Mayweather has been, you know, raising this kid since he's been, you know, eight what, years eight old. Years old. Yeah. I mean, More than half his look. He wouldn't have spent this much time with him if he didn't think this kid was going places. And he is going places. At 17, he looks incredible. Nice high guard defense from Moten. Took yeah. those shots for off his gloves. Again, unfortunately, this is not amateur. Um, uh, Cuba, Cuba is doing right. I mean, he's boxing. He's throwing, letting those hands go. One, two, one, two, three straight punches. But not much, not many of them landing flush. So, uh, again, the judges are not going to count those count those punches. And, and if, I, if I might just add, add yeah. some, uh, Abner, at 17, how powerful were you compared to when you were 21? <laughs> not that powerful. Exactly. Yeah. And you can imagine. Yeah. Give, give, uh, he hasn't grown into his man. Yeah, he's he's still not. in his teens, and he's he's always had the pro style. He's yeah. always been trained by yeah. professional coaches. Yeah. But look how he's not rushing things. Uh, that's what I like Composure. about him. Yeah, Maturity. Really, really mature. But Kuba continues to press forward, Get trying to a find a, a way to slow down the offense of Kermel Moten. Well, he, Kuba's actually reversed the pace of this. He's he's the one putting pressure on, at least momentarily. But, uh, you know, that may not last too long, but at least he's trying to do what his corner told him to do, and that's be more aggressive and more yeah, effective. Best round for Kuba, offensively speaking, yes. in terms of output and connections. And here we are with 15 seconds left in the first half of this scheduled eight-round encounter to begin... The PBC on the Prime bell, Era, the bell. and uh, so far, these two definitely ready for prime time, especially his, uh, his son to deep, deep. slow it down even a little yeah. more. What do you think about that, Abner and, and Joe? I, I, again, he, the coach knows him more than we do, obviously. I don't see Moten uh, trying to force anything. Uh, but again, you know, great advice. Uh, he's going to try to calm him down, and uh, and now he wants a Moten more, more, more aggressive and to really just feel relaxed in there and let those punches go. Well, and I, I don't disagree with that at all. I, I, I don't know if he's trying too hard, but his coach, he's going to listen to his coach. Of course. And, but I, I think he's fighting the perfect fight, to tell you the truth. Right? And he's had the perfect left hand in a variety of ways from the jab and the left hook. And you look at the stats, total punches through five rounds. He's landing at 50%. Yeah, and he's not over -committed, committing either. And you don't want to do that against Kuba because Kuba's a great counter puncher and a great straight puncher. And Kuba remains coming for it, trying to get back into this fight, but the, the pressure, the offense of Moten trying to slow down Kuba, but Kuba willing to engage in toe-to-toe -to -toe action, lands a chopping right hand, and here comes Moten, these two youngsters putting on a show. Well, they're under the brightest lights in Las Vegas, and they are definitely seizing the opportunity. This is unbelievable action for these two young guys right now. And look, Moten is the, uh, definitely the heavier hitter, and Kuba's taking it and dishing it back out and landing some short right hands. But look, he just pulled out of the pocket, did Kuba, and Moten kind of won that battle because those body shots he was landing, I guarantee, were hurting Kuba. Yeah, and again, the most respect for, for Moten because, again, he's taking on another undefeated fighter, 7-0. and uh, When you have two fights going to your third, you normally don't take on these fights. And no. you're learning so much right now against a really, really strong Cuba. Exactly. You're usually fighting guys with upside-down records. Yeah. Just, uh, <laughs> yes. you know. just over a minute now remaining in this thrilling fifth round. These two undefeated prospects. Kermel Moten and Anthony Two Quick Kuba. This could be a main event on just about any other show. Ushering in a new era of PBC. And they didn't expect to get this opportunity here tonight. We want to wish Elijah Garcia a speedy recovery. We want to wish Kyron Davis well. We hope to see that fight in the future. But boy, Moten and Kuba definitely making the most of this opportunity. Absolutely. Off the head, off the head. Yeah, or again, talking about the advantages and opportunities that Moten takes. I mean, he, he takes a little step back and he comes right back. It's, it seems like they're going to clinch and again, Moten lets his hands go. And Kuba with his fair share of supporters trying to rally him. 
As they once again stand in exchange, now it's Moten on the attack. Series of left hooks. Shots from uh, uh, Moten. And here we go into round six. This is the fifth straight time that Kuba has seen a round six. And we talk about experience coming into this fight. It was Kuba with 38 professional rounds. Of course, Moten, two first round knockouts, not even two rounds. So he's gaining valuable experience hey. while Kuba is, well, serving to be a, a, a tough test. Here. Let me just tell you something. Kuba, if he's fighting anybody but but uh, Moten, he's probably going to win this fight hey. the way he's performing Look at right the now. body shot totals. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's it's incredible that Kuba's taking more yes. shots than a bachelor party here in Las Vegas. After. And that's that's what you want to see also from a heavy puncher from Moten. You just don't want to see headshots. See, this is a complete fighter. This is a guy that does, does it all inside yeah. the ring. And again, the fact that he's going the rounds, it just says even more. Exactly. And here's the thing. Is Moten stop, is stop, winning stop, these stop. rounds. No There's no yeah, doubt about it. Of course. But they are no. not just blowout rounds. Mm -hmm. nope. You know, Kuba, I got to give him credit. He's in every one of these rounds. He's just not winning them. No, not doing enough, unfortunately, because, again, Moten has a response for everything that uh, Kuba mm. does. I, I, but, again, I, 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 still I, I, game. Still game, Kuba. Oh, beautiful. Double left hook. Right, one to the down. liver and one upstairs. And here comes Kuba. And it continues to be Kermel Moten building momentum as on uh, Joe Goosen's unofficial scorecard. He is up 5 nothing. but you just mentioned you qualified yeah. it by saying that Kuba has still proved to be yeah. the kind of test you would expect at this, it, at it, this level of your experience. I, I'm, I, if I'm in the corner, I'm loving this fight for my fighter. It's great experience. Uh, it, it, it's, it, it'll do you more service than having two quick knockouts like he had earlier. Yeah, of course, because they, you don't sense any dangers of uh, danger of him losing at all. If anything, you know, this is a learning experience, learning fight for, for Moten, and then you're loving it as a coach. And, and even as a spect yeah. spectator and a fan for Moten, it's a great fight for him. Exactly. And the last thing I'll add to it, when Moten came out at the beginning of this round, Kuba threw about six, seven punches, and Moten just walked him down and blocked every single one of them. He's going, yes. yeah, good body movement side to side, but Kuba continues to try to fire, but not the kind of eye-catching shots like that right hand from Moten. And he continues to back oh. up. Kuba has him along the ropes, and Kuba eats some nasty leather from Moten. Hey, Joe, I know you said he kind of resembles a little bit of Mayweather, but I see a lot more of Tank Davis in him than, than anything. He's so explosive. I know his hands are a little low and now. he sparred with Davis when he was yes. 16. Oh, my God. I mean, this guy, well, again, you learn a lot in the gym, and you want to uh, spar all these great fighters. Well, well what is not going to like to say <laughs> Nice left uppercut right hand. I mean, there's crafty combinations. There's creativity, composure. Did I mention he's only seven he to does. get those punches in? And, and if he back. gets in too close, he starts shortening up mm -hmm. his throat. We have reached the penultimate round for our opener, and that was a nice right hand from Kuba. And I guess we now know that Moten could take a shot. Yeah, and Moten came right back with his counter right hand and a good left hook there. Oh, oh both of them again. Man. This is unbelievable. That's a great fight. What a fantastic way to start PBC on Prime. 17-year-old Kermel Moten, 21-year-old Anthony Kuba. They are putting on a show in Sin City. Note to trainers, keep your fighters away from Moten. This guy is unbelievable. And again, you got to give Kuba credit. I mean, no, it's unbelievable. He's taking some Him fighting anyone run. else tonight, I, th I think oh, he, he beats him. Right? Double left hook. Yeah. And Kuba continues to come forward. He's leaning forward, leaving himself a little susceptible to the uppercut as well. But look at the defensive oh, yeah, maneuvering of Moe. There was a Floyd Mayweather you right there. Yeah. Exactly. And, and he's smart him. enough that, that he saw that those overhand rights were landing on him. Hey, I got to pick my hand up, and he's doing that. Oh, nice counter right by Moten. Kuba gutsy as they come. Look where he's guarded. Oh. And oh, Kuba leaving himself open, hands low. Looking to buy some time, try to find that Hail Mary as he gets backed up with another left hand from Moten. And, and Kuba threw a nice left hook to the liver and got, got the heck out of dodge. But, you know, it's really not having a big effect. No. Ooh, Ooh, solid left to the bread shot. basket by Moten just past the midpoint of round number seven. Oh, he just teamed up. Breaking down Kuba. 
Kuba continues to absorb shots, continues to throw back, but each and every punch, a little less steam on it from Kuba. Yeah, he's just, you know, manhandling a really, really oh. good sh a, a fighter in great shape who knows what he's doing. And Moten's manhandling yeah. him. He's pushing him around, using forearms on him. He's he just gets, incredible. You can tell he's loading up on those punches now in Moten. Yeah. He, he, he definitely wants a knockdown. Jermel Moten's nickname is Big Deal. With 45 seconds left in round number seven, he is looking more and more like the real deal. One of the best young prospects I've seen in years, I'm telling you. He is something else, this kid. Let him go, let him go. And he, they put him in deep. They put him with a guy with nine fights, no losses. And well, Mayweather, it may have been part of a promotional tactic. He called out former featherweight champion Lee Wood. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, look, at this point, I'm not too sure that was <laughs> something outrageous. Well, it, uh, 10 seconds left, and it's an outrageous output of offense here. Moten continues to track Kuba. Kuba trying valiantly to fight back, Listen but the just bell, outgunned tonight by Ooh. Kermel Moten. Uh. Round eight of what has been a great opening contest here tonight. PBC on prime prelims and two undefeated prospects showcasing their their skills and their wills. But Kermel Moten, there's there's class, there's levels to this, as Floyd Mayweather would say, Joe Goose. For his third fight to look this poised and this. Oh. Professionals is just phenomenal. An amazing exchange, and you know what? Coming up, we could see a similar matchup between 154 pounders. Sorry, boy. More heart than Lejour Demore, Brian Mendoza. And you can you can count on that. that. That's exactly what we're gonna see in the next fight. A, a great fight, a, a fireworks. But, I mean, but this is a tough fight to follow. Yeah, of course. No, this is gonna be a tough, tough fight to follow. And you kind of called it, Joe. You said that Moten was gonna come out and try to knock out Kuwa. He's trying. He, he definitely is. is. He is. And you know, you would normally advise your fighter if you've got every round in the bank, you know, go out, win the round, but don't do anything stupid. You yeah. yeah. Left hook to the body, right hand, left hand upstairs by Moten, and yet. Kuba tries to come back. Arm punches some of them, but he's he's staying in the pocket, trying to retreat now, but the pressure yeah. is on from Moten. And the pressure can break pipes or create a diamond, and Moten is shining bright and like one tonight. Exactly, and here's the thing. Once you start a knockout record, you got two in a row, you want three in a row, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. Yeah. Yeah. So he, I, I know he wants to keep the... Oh, oh wow, a shot that, that stopped Kuba momentarily, <laughs> right, but just momentarily. But you have to wonder. How much more can Kuba sustain the 21-year-old who came in with a record of 7-0-2 under the tutelage of four-division champion Leo Santa Cruz? Well, he's got and that's what the corner left. told him. Or, or also, Moten, Moten, they tell him, break the body, go to the body, and that's what he's Touch doing. Touch that body. Yeah. And then the last round, that's when he realized that he could take Kuba's uh, uh, punches, hard punches. Yeah. And that's why he's co coming in forward so comfortable. And Moten's prediction was, I'm a doing bad. And I would say that Moten is a bad man, but he, he's a bad boy. He is. Uh, <laughs> he's everything you just said. Look at that. I mean, that's just beautiful. Stuff. Beautiful counter. The, the reflexes, Abner, the way, the, the confidence. Now, hands are down. He's fading. Maybe setting his own trap here for Kuba. And I think some gamesmanship because Kermel Moten is definitely Styling and profiling tonight. Ooh. Eight rounds of terrific action. Two young prospects putting it all on the line. 17 year old Kermel Moten looking to go to 3 0. Oh. Going the distance for the first time in his very short career where Anthony Kuba, he comes in with a record of 7-0-2 oh, and, and, well, he went to a, a majority draw the last time round, but uh, valuable experience for Moten tonight. Incredible. And I, again, you, you always want the knockout. You would like to have gotten yeah. it in the last minute or two, but if you didn't, you want to perform like this. This was great experience for Moten. Uh, it, it, 
it'll it'll really it'll really improve yeah. him. Going you as a coach, I'm sure you would be thrilled, really happy with the performance and and the, what the unanimous decision because again the fact that he learned so much. That's we right. saw yeah. him taking you know really hard shots to the chin. That showed that he's got chin. Right. We saw him uh, being in there with Fuba, a guy that you know forced him as well. So again, we saw a lot of things from Moten that you know we hadn't in the past because he had not been past. And, and how rounds. about that conditioning to go eight rounds, full bore like he did, you know, for a young good guy, fight, 17 years old against a, a man, good fight, good fight, okay? Good fight, good fight, eight rounds like that, you've yeah, only had two fights. Yeah, that's exceptional yeah, yeah, to put out yeah, that type of offense yeah, and defense yeah, for eight yeah, rounds. It was nonstop action, and he wasn't even breathing. And, and the work ethic is is prominent from from when he was a kid, committed to the craft. Mayweather was a prodigy at the age of four in his dad's gym. Well, this guy had started at eight with Floyd Mayweather in the past nine years, and this is not. I know hyperbole is the greatest word ever. I, I'm not above it sometimes, Joe. I admit, my friend. But when you look at a kid this age and what he's already not only accomplished in the gym, but the maturity level. Yep, yep. All right, 100%. let us get the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, before we go to the judges' scorecards, one more time for both of these warriors. What a way to kick things off. Now, after eight rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judges Lisa Giampa, Dave Morietti, and David Sutherland, all three saw it the same, 80 to 72 for your winner by unanimous decision and still undefeated, Kermel Big D Kermel Big Deal Moten, continuing his momentum and uh, something tells me